Hey guys, this is RC. I'm just throwing a quick video together here to try to help somebody out with uh, setting up an, a multiplayer league. So the first thing when you install your game is, let's walk through the process. It's C drive, program files, x86, GDS, Grey Dog Software, Bullbound College Football. You have to right click and add a folder and title it multiplayer if it's not already there and go into your saves folder and right click and create a new folder and name that whatever your league name is so WWCF or GDCFL when you unzip your league file and let me go ahead and open up the website A second here. All right, so here is WWCF. There's the league file. You're going to download that. When it's, uh, you have to have a zip program. When you unzip that, you're going to unzip that to into this folder and just extract it into that folder. And uh, actually what I do is, you know, I open it like this and I just left click and drag into here and it overwrites this. So everything in here ends up in this folder. Once you've done that, now this is into your saves folder. Once you have that, you have an updated league file. Go into your game, load it in, make sure your game's closed when you do that. But then you come in, so this is where we're at currently as of the recording. Do your changes, then you come to online and export file. Okay, and you will get this message that it's been exported. It tells you where it goes. Make a note of that. And it gives you your team number. So Michigan is team 23. Okay, now when you come back and you want to upload your file, you click upload it brings you to this window click on browse now once you pick it in it's already there but here you can see it's c program files x86 gds bullbound multiplayer the league that you're in and then your team number okay now i have three teams in this league so, but Michigan is 23, and I can tell because that's today's date when I just did this. All right, so you would highlight that, click OK or Open. It loads it in here. You input the league ID and your password and click Upload, and you're good to go. Okay, now I'm not going to upload that because I haven't done my, my export yet, but that's how you do that. So, again, it's going into Bullbound saves right click new folder and you only have to do this once to get it in there okay and then once that's done let's close this so now when you load the game in after you've installed that file load league and there's the three leagues GDCFL, WWCF, and my test league. All right, and then I could click that and load it. And it brings you to your load in screen, and that's where you pick your team and put in your password. Okay, now I'm not going to do that so nobody can see my password, but hopefully that uh, gets you guys to see where these files are at. Uh, how to set them up, where to put, you know, where to export your extract your file to, you know, how you have to add that file. Also, just a couple of little nuances, especially for new owners. Uh, once you install the game the first time, make sure you reboot your computer, and also make sure that you are running your the game program in administrator mode. And if you don't know how to do that. You right click on your icon and click run as administrator. That's what that little shield means. And so since the shield shows up there every time now, if I double click it, 
it will always run as administrator. You have to do that on Windows 8 and newer, possibly Windows 7, because uh, you got to remember, this is a 2005 game. Uh, this came out when Windows XP was still around. I think it was XP. So you have to run it now as admin mode, uh, and that's how you have to get the file in. Uh, so anyway, hopefully this real quick and dirty video helps uh, helps you guys resolve some of the issues uh, with uh, you know getting the league file into the game uh, and also getting your extract out of the game. And again, that will be under the uh, multiplayer, which you may have to manually create, but that's where your when you extract when you export your file that's where it will go it will come into that league file here and these are coa files uh, so it's a dot coa and that is what you export to the website that's what the commissioner imports into the game for the for the sim and then you would down you know just repeat this process every sim you download the new league file overwrite into your saves folder right here and then open your game, make your changes, export, and then upload from the multiplayer. So hopefully that helps. Uh, sorry it was so quick and dirty, but uh, somebody was having some issues tonight, so I was just trying to throw this together uh, to hopefully help them out and anybody else uh, down the road. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.